in contact. Okay? We have tried everything to get into contact. We've never, never done any of that. That is up to him. I now have full custody, physical, and all that medical. He can has his rights in order to see him. He needs to take anger management because of what he did to my daughter. He needs to take parenting classes, and it does have to be in the United States because Tan is an American citizen, especially now because Tan cannot travel internationally, and it is supervised. I did not do that. The judge did that. Not me. It was the judge. Okay? So please, everyone, stop saying I kidnapped my son. I didn't do that. Stop saying I'm withholding my son. I'm not doing that. He was not a good person to us, and it was proven in court he was not a good person. We have gotten into contact with him since finding out about Tam. We have. We have gotten into contact. Finally. He unblocked us. And finally messaged. Okay? Do I like his response to us? No. I don't. Taeyang's dad is Chris. All Taeyang knows is Chris. Is that our fault? No. What's not working? <gasps> Do you want to put it on? Okay, so Chris has been in Taeyang's life for two years. He's an amazing person, but we have never once, never once withheld my son from that side, okay? So please, for the love of all, give us a break. Because we have done everything for this little boy, as the other side has done zero. Okay? Thank you. That's all I got to say about that. And the reason why I haven't spoke out the past year is because I was going through court. I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I have I couldn't. So, we're the ones with Tan holding his hands. We're the ones who paid for everything out of pocket. We weren't begging people for money during the divorce. Okay? None of that. That's not. We need help now because my lawyer costs have taken everything I have ever earned. It was so expensive. Okay? We need help. He does have insurance, but I don't think you guys understand how expensive this is. Well, I gotta block people. I think his actions on Instagram right now should show the truth. But just so you guys know, we have gone in contact with him. So. Yes, he does know. We have gotten in contact with him, and he does know. Do I like the exchange that happened? No. But yes, he does know. No one hid it from him. Don't worry. So, uh, so St. Jude's Hospital does not take everybody. I don't think people know that. So, St. Jude's Hospital is a research hospital, okay? They do clinical trials. In order to go to St. Jude's Hospital, you need to be referred, and your child has to fall into that clinical trial they're doing at that time. I don't know if people know that. So, no, we can't just take him. It doesn't work that way. And it's not just about the medical cost. We are, the hospital we're going to is one of the best, one of the best in the world for his certain type of cancer. And we know he's going to get taken care of. Yes, I am pregnant. <laughs> so, um, we do have insurance, but that doesn't cover everything. I don't think people know that. <laughs> um, I am not a millionaire. I do not make a lot of money <laughs> um, at all. 
just because we were on a TV show doesn't mean we're rich. Nothing. No, 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 no. I make enough to get by. I'm not, to me, I'm not famous. To me, it was just a show that happened three years ago. And even when we were on the show, so two years worth of work with TLC, I was only paid a total of like $22,000. That's less than minimum wage if you were to calculate it. The, no. Um, I do flat tummy promotions here and there. That's only $600. It's not a lot. I, yeah, no. I make below the average income in America if that helps people understand. I do not have a new Mercedes, guys. My car is used. It, I bought an SUV. It was actually the cheapest used SUV on the lot because we needed an SUV for the family because when I came back to America, I had nothing. I didn't have a car. I had nothing. All that. It's a very cheap car. <laughs> And thank goodness we have that car because it has helped us so much through everything because I would hate not to have a car right now. I cannot go back to work. <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to explain that to people. So when your child has cancer, you have to, I'm gonna cry. You have to be with them at all times. What is that? Look at that. Yeah, that one. Um, so I have like a filter on so you guys can see how red my face is. And I guess it's not happening. So he needs a full-time caregiver. He needs someone with him at all times. Leukemia and childhood cancer affects a lot of families, not just medically finances, but everything else. I'm not rich. I'm not successful. Unfortunately, I was 21 years old when I was on the show. My ex was 30 years old. I think people forget I was 21 years old and he was 30 years old. I don't know why news reports always say thank you. He is way older than me. I came back to America. I'm just going to say it because, you know, my divorce is over. I came back to America because he was hurting us. He's not a good person, and I will sit here and say that. He's not a good person. I did it to protect my kids. You okay? Well, thank you. And I'm sick of being bullied and harassed because of it. I am the one who came back to America at 22, restarted my whole life, and have financially supported them no matter what. Okay? It's not ab just about medical costs. It's about all the other costs that are not covered. Okay? Alone this week... I've spent, I think it was like about 12, 1200 just in one week because of travel, food, everything he needs to have at home. I am living paycheck to paycheck as is because I've spent so much money in lawyer fees. All my money has gone towards lawyer fees, which he did not even have to pay out of his own pocket when he made more than me. He's never given me child support. He's never helped. None of that. So I'm sick of it. I'm done. My son has cancer and he needs me. He doesn't need anyone else but me. Because we're the ones here for him. We're the ones who fought for him. We're the ones who spent $60,000 in lawyer fees, all of our money into taking care of him, everything he needed. We're the ones who spent all that time trying to get Drusilla's case taken care of in Korea for what happened to her. Okay? We're the ones who took care of Taeyang. We're the ones who cared. So, no. I'm done.
I'm sick of people saying that to me, and I'm sick of being quiet, and I know this is probably going to be all over the internet, and everybody's going to make fun of us, but like, I'm the one who fought for him, I'm the one who took care of him. My ex hasn't reached out to him in two years, and let alone the people in charge of my ex's GoFundMe are evil people who stalked and harassed us resentlessly for two years and made our lives a living hell for two years, that group of people. And those are the group of people who said we were liars and said everything. We never lied. My daughter was hurt. There was an investigation in Korea. Sorry, I hate crying on lives because I know it's going to be everywhere. Okay. They proved she was hurt. And we did everything in our power to keep the children safe. And during that time of his GoFundMe, the people running it... Her name is Amber Charrington. I don't even give a crap. I will say her name. Her name is Amber Charrington. She lives in Utah, Sandy, Utah, probably late in Utah now. She is a stalker. She is very scary. She's a horrible person. And she also teamed up with Janelle from Teen Mom. So that's why they went on that hate spree and like we're lying and stuff and all of that. They're the reason why the documentary isn't released. They're the reason why I had to pay so much money. These people, sorry. These people are horrible people. No one cared about my son but me and Chris, okay? I do have a restraining order against my ex. I'm trying to get one against Amber. I am. I've been trying. I'm sorry for crying, but it's hard because I've been quiet for two years. While they put my family through hell, they try to get my son taken away from me and given to someone who does not like my child. He has never cared about the children. And he still doesn't. He had two whole years to call him. Has he? No. He had one whole year to come to court. Did he? No. So please, for the love of goodness, stop saying we kidnapped him or we're holding him. We are not. Came to a phone call visit. None of that. For a whole year, we were trying to get in contact. Okay? We have So please, for the love of goodness, stop saying the love of goodness. Stop saying we kidnapped him or we're holding him. We are not. My son has cancer and could die, and that scares me. And we have a baby on the way, so that's really scary, too. So I don't think people realize that, like, we're... Sorry, I'm being so real right now, but we're humans too, you know, just because we're on some stupid show doesn't mean we're rich or that's the real case or anything like that. I was on the show when I was 21 years old. I am now 25 years old. I have not filmed the show in two years. I want nothing to do with the show. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, it's... Sorry. I'm just sick and tired of being called a liar. I am not. I have proven it countless times what the truth was. And also, there's this, I'm upset too because there's this YouTuber named Auntie's Advice. I think she's actually quite entertaining. And I've told her that before. But she had done, I know she doesn't like me, but she recently did a YouTube video yesterday. This is me just venting at this point. And she was telling people not to donate to Tan and not to trust us because we're liars and this and that. Well, we have never lied about what happened to us. We were telling the truth the whole time and had proven it. 